Hey, it's that time of the year where you're getting ready for spring cleaning. Mm -hmm. It's a popular time to move, right? That's We've right. been talking mm -hmm. about that. So what if you discover some items in the house? Either you don't need them anymore, or maybe they've been stashed, and now, ta-da, there it is. It's just <laughs> time to downsize. So you come across these items, and you want to auction them off. So. We've got Nanette is back, uh, Robert back from Dumas to help us understand right. what this is all about. Yes. What do we do if we find something? See, I was on a real horse, but now we, honey, <laughs> I shrunk the horse. What do I do if I find that downstairs? Well, you know, actually what we brought in today, and this is an example of Chinese cloisonne, um, we brought in examples of things that are kind of hot on the auction market right hmm. now. Okay. So if you are in the mode for spring cleaning or perhaps you have to move and so you have to downsize perhaps, kind of go through your home or the various items Make sure that there's not a, an emotional attachment to some of these items. You don't okay, want to give up advice, something yeah. that you're sorry for later. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, it is good to find out what you have because perhaps something has a little more value than you might have thought of. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it might need to be better insured. Or if something that you're not so emotionally attached to um, is very valuable, right. maybe it is something that you might want to, yeah. to sell. Um, so this that you mentioned here is a Chinese cloisonne. Of course, uh, I think it's an incense. It's an incense burner, actually. Really? The top yeah. comes off and mm -hmm. actually uh, burn okay. your incense And something in there. like that could auction for how much money, you think? Well, I think we're, we're going to be in the 1200 to 1800 but it, we might start it off at 1000 and You yeah. never know. It might be something that you have in your basement or sure. have in your collection mm -hmm. that you've always wondered about. And you bring it in on Wednesdays or Saturdays. And this afternoon, we'll, we'll we have a walk-in clinic. Okay, awesome. very nice. Another example, actually, of the Chinese, while we're on the mode of talking about Chinese, is this Chinese silk robe. It's embroidered, turn of the century, might be a little bit earlier than that. Uh -huh. And um, it's uh, the Chinese market really has been screaming for about the last five years. They're, the um, They really... Um, the Chinese are uh, securing their pieces back, their relics, and uh, mm -hmm. so they're really competing heavily for them. Interesting. Mm -hmm. right. So what if you're like people like in my family who are go, go to garage sales all the time, go to estate sales, mm -hmm. and they collect things, is this the perfect time on the Wednesdays and Saturdays to come see you guys and see if it has any value? Because, you know, if you get something at a garage sure. sale or an estate mm -hmm. sale, you're not necessarily attached to it. Is that is this a good time to do that? Definitely. Yeah. Uh, people bring things in all the time to us. Uh, we just bought this. I had a man who brought a, uh, a painting in, and he had seen one that had sold at our auction. Mm -hmm. And he found it out in um, Williamston, Michigan, at okay. one of the antique malls. And he brought it in, and he, he got a great buy. And ended up selling it for twenty-seven thousand. Oh, wow. yeah. You go. never know; those buys are out there. Yeah, you never so. know. Now, this has caught my eye. It's not really my colors because I'm an auto. <laughs> but tell me about that. Is that a purse? Yeah. That is. That what? is a Judith Lieber, what they call a miniature. And yes, so you can. They're, they're, wow. She's known for the really like works of art, and um, it's a piece that someone is going to be selling. We're having a fashion auction actually in May, mm -hmm. so if you have some designer purses Come or on, uh, accessories pieces, we actually brought in a Chanel suit. Also, uh -huh. another example of somebody who's moving. A gal is moving to Florida, and so she is going to sell off about 80 of her pieces. Wow. Um, clothing. I think she probably has about 40 Chanel suits. Wow. So we have a spectacular collection for our May auction. So this is feeling very jacket. Oh, Isn't it great? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that great? It. And then so, art like this, I can't see mm -hmm. the front, so well, forgive yep. me. I'm not sure what it is, but so what do we have here? Keith Herring, mm -hmm. you know, pop artist, started out as a graffiti artist. So mm -hmm. really fun as a way to, again, in spring, if you want to redecorate or rejuvenate re, uh, the sure. punch in your living room mm -hmm. or in your dining room or somewhere you can add pieces like this to your collection. They have a lot of life to them, a lot of energy. Yeah. And the contemporary and mid-century modern, we have one last little area here that's really been burgeoning for the past several years is the modern and mid-century furniture as well as the painting. So the contemporary and modern mm -hmm. is really uh, really doing quite well at, at auction right now. Very so. interesting stuff. It's always good to Indeed. have you here. We learn so much and whether you're going from modern to traditional or vice versa, mm -hmm. it may be time to figure out what to do with the stuff. That's right. right? That's right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank so Dumochelle Auction Galleries is located at 409 East Jefferson in downtown Detroit. They are right across the street from the Renaissance Center. Yeah, and they're holding consignment clinics today, as you heard, until 4 p.m. They also hold clinics every Wednesday and Saturday afternoon. Yes, mm -hmm. and the preview this week is Friday for items being auctioned off the following weekend. So those auctions are April 15th, 16th, and 17th. For more information, go to their website, auctiondetroit.com. This is exciting. Now I want yeah. to bring all my stuff to you and see if I have something for $27,000.